Moving along now, while kangaroos, wallabies and quokkas are household names, there's another lesser known wild animal here in WA, which is so elusive few people have ever seen one, and it's on the brink of extinction. Tonight, Natalie Bongiolo meets the wildlife warriors on a mission to save a species. Given half a chance, these guys have an amazing capacity to recover. They're the wildlife warriors in a war against extinction. On an early morning mission, their target is elusive, endangered and feisty. It's a woody. Once found across two-thirds of Australia, the last decade has been disastrous for this little-known bush critter, with foxes, feral cats, disease and deforestation all taking their toll. Wiley's declined by about 90% in the space of about six or seven years. We first met conservationist Dr Adrian Wayne and his team two years ago, when Wiley numbers were at their worst. What we have here is basically a wave of extinction going through this population. Since then, they've been busy saving a species. And while it's too soon to say Woylies are back from the brink, things are looking up. The good thing is that although that it's undergone a massive collapse, their numbers are now stabilised, albeit very low. Dryandra Woodland, two hours southeast of Perth, is one of the last places on Earth you'll find Woylies in the wild. And we have a boy. These guys don't know it yet, but they're moving house. Well, it's quite a big operation. It's uh, taking us uh, about a week. Dr Amanda Page is Chief Zoologist at the Department of Parks and Wildlife. We go out and we set traps every evening. We've set over 300 traps each evening. And early in the morning, we go and check them. We process them, which includes measuring them and weighing them and taking some blood and DNA samples. And then we put them in the car and drive them to Pear Up Sanctuary. 260 k's away, their new home is like a maximum security jail. Enclosed by an eight kilometre fence, Pear Up Sanctuary is predator proof and disease proof. The success of Parap Sanctuary has been incredible. We've gone from 40 woilies to nearly 400 in two and a half years. And what it shows us is take the foxes and the cats out of the equation and these woilies can do the rest. We put them in there, we mix them up with some of the local animals there and we have sort of an insurance population that's going to ensure that the genetic diversity of the species is maintained. It is an anxious time for us. Meanwhile, at Kenyana Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre in Perth's Hills, June Butcher sheds a few tears as she gets ready to say goodbye to two of her babies. Woylies she's raised by hand as part of the centre's breeding program. We've put in a, a lot of effort to get these animals ready for uh, release. Uh, we've got them building their nests. We've got them only eating natural food that they're actually going to find in the enclosure. These guys are also bound for Pear Up Sanctuary. I think we've really done the best we can for them. It's a bit like a game of woily chess, and it's working. The animals are shuffled around where they're needed to reinvigorate the gene pool and maximise their chances of survival. But for these guys, it's the end of the line. To make room for the newcomers, Pear Up Sanctuary's most recent graduates are being released into the wild. I'm pretty confident that the Woylie is on the road to recovery. Natalie Bongiola reporting on that special mission.